Well, it's the end of an era for the juggernaut CNN, who I've been following almost since the very beginning. I think they were uh, started in 1980, probably started watching them in the mid-80s. And a lot of people that, uh, like the Gen Z, a lot of the younger people don't remember what CNN used to be. I think they've confused it, thinking it's, it's always been the same thing since they started watching it, and it hasn't. It's evolved or devolved, depending on how you want to look at it. Now, it used to be just like headline news. It was zero spin, nothing political. It was something you could like leave on at the bar, weather reports. Um, you know, it was like a hurricane somewhere. They were there. It was actually a really great channel. Find out what was going on with the, with the current events going around uh, on the country, the, the world, with no spin. That was kind of what was nice about it and you could you cover a president say they were making a speech somewhere it would be like oh well the the president of the united states was in this state today making a speech and people were showing up and he talked about this and it was cool but they actually had some like good journalists starting in 1980 they had a uh, young lou dobbs he was kind of one of the uh, respected uh, hard news anchors of that time you had uh, great investigative journalists like Cheryl Atkinson. Uh, you had the uh, legendary Larry King, who ran a show there for a long time. You know, yeah, just respected people. They weren't super hard uh, left or right, but they just tried to, uh, this was their evolution of trying to add some serious journalism to go along with their headline news shows that they ran for the most part the rest of the day. But, now they were a huge letdown during the 2000s under the Bush administration when they really should have been going after, you know, the WMDs, the Patriot Act, sounding the alarm, holding a lot of the uh, right-wingers uh, that at, at that time accountable, the, uh, the dangerous neocons that were uh, pushing our country into a dangerous territory of perpetual war based on lies, some of which. But then they really changed, like during the whole Obama administration then they just turned into uh, complete lap dogs and then they started you know putting the uh, the activists in there which would just basically read the uh, the script the teleprompter and uh, just just push whatever the uh, the talking points were and we're not trying to be objective journalism anymore which is what people are seeing today so then they of course they replaced Larry with the uh, the Piers Morgan Tonight show that didn't uh, last too long before he was sent packing then you had the uh, the Chris Cuomo's you had oh poor Jim Acosta that was him after he's got his uh, White House credentials pulled for a while as a punishment for just being an antagonistic asshole and not really trying to be an actual objective reporter but that was during this uh, whole new era <laughs> and Brian Stelter oh my god it was such an embarrassment having people up there uh, just destroying the, the legacy that CNN had built all those years and there's the crime Don Lemon, which uh, he might be uh, out the door soon as well. Now, the, uh, the leftist hacks on Twitter are uh, freaking out. Here's uh, John Cooper uh, saying, if CNN shifts hard to the right, I'm switching full-time to MSNBC. Uh, yeah, it was just, CNN was kind of the alternative, or maybe kind of somewhere in the middle of the extreme right Fox News and the extreme left MSNBC. So CNN is probably trying to go towards the middle there. They, they want to switch things up because they don't like what they turned into into during the Obama years and then going after Trump during his years. It's overdue for a, ch a change because they were uh, really losing their credibility with everybody. Yeah, not like the leftist hacks like John Cooper 
or uh, this guy Adam Park Homenko, who uh, puts out a lot of trash on uh, Twitter as well. But you can't take any uh, strategists uh, seriously. They just represent the party, and they're not trying to be independent or objective. So he's saying we all need to start recognizing the fact it's about to swing hard to the right while pretending to the middle. Well, if they are on the extreme left for so long and they swing hard to the right, wouldn't that put them in the middle? Perhaps. Not that we're going to have a uh, serious debate with a uh, hack flack and a lackey like Adam. Or uh, Mark Elias, who is the notorious uh, Hillary Clinton lawyer who's been uh, trashing uh, election integrity for quite a long time. I uh, got CNN's going from having one show per week to the media's role in protecting democracy to zero shows per week on the media's role in protecting democracy. This is how democracy dies. Well, Mark, we're a republic. And Brian Stelter, I think this is what he's talking about, the reliable sources show, was a fucking embarrassment to journalism and they finally had to get rid of them but I know the leftists like to sit in their bubbles you know they like CNN because it confirms their delusional bullshit talking points that they're putting out there you know they'd like to see you know state-run media that just puts out their points and emphasizes that and then they can uh, they take over because they have no opposition to call them out uh, Tom Fitton saying no fun to be fired unfortunately for Mr. Stelter and the CNN colleagues like Darcy long ago decided to ditch journalism and focused on trying to hound conservatives and Fox News and its hosts off the air and off social media. Yeah, and that's what they turned into. So they really just devolved into like, you know, like a, like a BuzzFeed or a, a Daily Beast. Just total like hack rag clickbait crap. And people got sick of it, and they decided they needed some changes. They're getting absolutely killed in the ratings under the uh, Zucker era. They weren't even trying to uh, offer an alternative or anything. It was just attack Trump all day, which is where we're at now where after Trump was gone, what were they supposed to uh, do? They shamelessly tried to uh, you know, do the COVID numbers where they were just putting the, the fear porn in the corner with all of the people that were getting tested and positive and all the deaths that were going on. And when that people stopped tuning in for that and they didn't have anything to, uh, to bash on Trump all day, which is all CNN uh, was doing, then uh, their ratings tanked and they had to switch things up. So this was a necessary change or they were going to collapse they can't just sit there and entertain the people in the bubble that want to believe their bs and here's uh chuck woolery saying bye bye donny as don lemon jim acosta jake tapper about to be axed from cnn of course uh, several others this is uh from uh, jim nicosia uh, the president of the News Cycle Media and former managing editor of Mediaite, who probably has a lot of sources, who uh, had one that says there's a coming shakeup at CNN is done, but don't expect uh, some of the other people that are on this list to uh, have their current show assignments. So it'll be interesting to see who they uh, replace their talent. Bring in some more objective news hosts or whether they're going to go into more of this uh, headline format that they used to have when that was uh, highly successful so a, a lot of these people that they brought in over the years the uh, the hacks and the activists that would just read the scripts trashing an entire legacy that they had built for so many years built up this trust and so i think a lot of the younger people out there are confused that just thought cnn was always this way it, it certainly was not and it's it's time to uh make some badly needed changes and here's uh Nikosha stelter says this was actually a pin post from a couple months ago when he got the word that stelter was uh on his way out he had down to weeks if not days yeah it took uh probably two months uh, and they said uh, he is everything that reminds the new owners of the zucker era they desperately want to get past more to come well there you have it the end of an era and maybe the beginning of a new one when cnn can uh, build its uh, credibility back 
and be a respectable journalistic uh, outlet again. We shall see. I'm not sure that they can build the reputation that they lost over all of those years, but they certainly have all of the infrastructure in place. And it'll take a while, depending on the kind of people that they get and the way that they want to uh, present their news. So certainly an exciting time, the end of a, a terrible era and the beginning of hopefully something new uh, because people really need a, another outlet, a more neutral outlet. But anyway, that's all I've got on this one. Thank you for listening. Good luck, CNN, and we'll see you next time.